I am so excited! I get to finally hear about Lindsay's planning board, and you're gonna learn too. All right, let's see it. Let's dive in. The Lindsay Corley Show, not long ago, where vet techs now retired. The Lindsay Corley Show, and now they go to what the F that they desire. The fabric snobs, but they're not snobs. Just fabric tends to rouse them. The Lindsay Corley Show, they like to sew. There's nothing cool about them. All right, so I have my blank chalkboard here on the wall. Um, and I like to use liquid chalk markers because I love that I can use the colors. And I love how vibrant they are and they don't wipe off as easily as chalk does. Um, so we're just going to start by making our lines. So I always make a line across and I use my quilting sewing rulers, so double duty. So I like to make a couple different categories. First I like to put who the project's for, so I'll put like name. And then I want to put what project it is. So here I'll put um, like whether it's a t-shirt or a blanket or just anything like that. So I'll, I just put project. And then next I'm going to put pattern. So what pattern I'm going to use if there is a pattern. Um, I'm going to put that in there. And I'm also going to put which fabric I'm going to use. And last but not least, I'm going to put a little checkbox for when it's finished because nothing's better than checking off a completed item in your to-do list. So now that I have my categories, then I just take my ruler again and make my vertical lines. Okay, and now that I have that all done and ready to go, we can, I can show you how I use it. So I use it in a variety of ways. For example, if I know SD needs a dress for something, then I'll just write her name. And then that's all for now. And then I'll pick my pattern and my fabric perhaps later, but I just know that's on my to-do list. Something needs to be done. And because the pattern and the fabric's blank, I know I need to pick that. Now, perhaps I want to, I have a pattern that I really want to use, but I'm not sure who I'm going to make it for or what fabric I'm going to use. I'll use, I'll do another line. Let's just do two while we're at it here. So a pattern I've really wanted to try lately is the fireweed from Sofiona. I just traced it out in SD size. So I could say the fireweed. I know it's a dress. And I know I'm gonna make it, I know I'm gonna make it for Esty. Maybe I could have done that there. I don't know. Maybe I'll make the second dress. Don't know what fabric I'm gonna pick yet. So I'll leave that blank. Now, let's do another one, because why not? So say you have a fabric that you really love that you want to make something out of. So I have this strike off that needs to be sewn up. So I know that it is blue alcohol ink. And I know I'm going to make it for myself, but I don't know what I'm going to make yet. Don't know what pattern I'm going to use. Don't know what project it's going to be yet. So I'm going to leave that blank. So this is just a few ways that I like to use my project board um, to plan out my projects and to have some guidance because sometimes I come into my sewing room 
and I have all this fabric and I really don't know what to do with it or I have a pattern I want to try and I just have too many ideas. If you're like me and you have like a million ideas and your brain's going in every which direction, this really helps me to plan everything out on here. I can see what I have in the cupboards. If I don't have the, the fabric that I need for the project, I know I need to pick it up from the fabric snob. <laughs> Alright Coralie, what do you think? Well, I'm excited that you got me inspired. Maybe you've got some ideas for me on how to stay focused and uh, yeah, just have a vision board in a whole new way for sewing. Alright. Yeah. Well. So, like and subscribe. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Till next time.